Hey y'all, and welcome back to another episode of TZ Teaches. This is going to be a short video because it's really going to focus on one thing, and that is the importance of saving your texture. So let's say we're just going to go ahead and draw on the monkey head, and it doesn't really matter what colors I pick, but let's say we're going to you know, give him a green eye and a green eye, and just make it look a little weird, whatever, uh, and just put some kind of texture on that. And you can see as I'm drawing, it's updating on the image editor. But here's the thing, even if I control S, so I just hit control S and I save the file. If I were then to reopen this file, the texture is gone. And that's because the file does not save the texture that you've worked on. You have to save the texture independently. So a couple of things. So let's go ahead and we'll just re-add some color back to this and put it in some different places. And let's say I'm happy with this and I want to go ahead and save this texture. All I have to do is go to the image editor, image, and then save as. And then I can choose where I want to save the file, uh, and it'll have the same name as the name texture slot that we created in the last video. And that's basically it. Once you save that file, though, you do have a button over on the properties panel that allows you to save all images. However, if you try to click this button before you've actually saved it once, you'll get an invalid path and it won't save your file. So make sure you save the image first and then you can use the button over here on the right that's save all images. One little thing to know, if you don't know whether or not you've saved your files and you're not like me and just going like, ah, I have to constantly save them, the image uh, word will have an asterisk next to it to let you know, hey, there's some texture that you've applied that you haven't saved. Okay, so that's just the importance of saving texture, guys. It's really quick, really simple, and it's super important because every year when I teach this, I have students who they put a lot of time into their texture, and then they save it, and then they open it up the next class, and they go, oh, no, I didn't save it, or it didn't save, and they, they start freaking out, and it's like we lost hours of work, and myself, I've been in that same boat. So you want to make sure that when you create a texture you save it on its own don't just save the blender file save the blender file and the texture i'm sir pinkbeard and i will see you in the next video